We're getting ready to fish the KBF TN Mid Lake Challenge on Percy Priest Lake. I wanted to run over a couple of quick things on what I do to get ready for a tournament. Now, I've already been out here and I've done my homework. I've done some pre-fishing, so I've got a game plan in effect. Now it's a matter of just putting the boat in the water and seeing if I can catch some fish. But what do I do to prepare myself to get on the water? Pretty simple. Make sure I already know what I'm throwing. I get everything lined up. I get my rods tied. My baits are on. Make sure I don't have any bird's nests from the last trip. And then I've got to set my boat up. And it's going to be a night tournament, so it's a little bit different. I've got a light set up here on the side that I use when I'm bank to illuminate the bank. And that runs off of a little bicycle battery. Uh, picked it up off Amazon for like 15 bucks. And that way I can light the banks up at night. I'm going to need a headlamp because it gets dark out there and you need to see what you're doing. I've got all of my baits that I know I'm going to use right here in my slide drawer. This drawer is very handy for organizing all my tackle. And then you also need good things like some bug spray and of course cherry flavored pop tarts. You gotta have something to keep you going, right? <laughs> I've got all my essential tackle right here. Now granted there's probably about another 500 pounds of it that I've got stashed everywhere else, but this is everywhere that I'm going to need first hand and handy. On my hog trough, use the bullwinkle to keep everything right handy. Make sure that my identifier is clearly seen on the trough and that way I can have it in all of my pictures. Slide this up, keep it handy. Depth finder, good old Lowrance unit is turned on and ready to roll. We gotta make sure that we've got juice in the batteries. So just do a quick voltage check. A little over 13 volts. So we're good for that on the battery. Why is the battery important? Real simple. I love my motor guide wireless trolling motor. This is set up on a temporary base. It's all ready to go and it's gonna get me to that spot as quickly as I can. Also back here running off the battery, we've got a lighted whip for visibility so I don't get run over while I'm on the water. And then of course the mandatory 360 light, LED, low amperage. My rods, I stage them all in order. Like I said, I've been out here, I've pre-fished, I know what I'm gonna throw. And I usually start from my right and work my way over to the left. I've got set up for cranks for top water and uh, deeper water. I've got some finesse rigs and then of course I've got one or two on there that I won't show anybody until after the tournament. Paddle. Quality paddle is good to have. This bending branches is excellent. The lightweight the camo looks good. I can paddle a whole lot farther with. I've got everything else in easy access underneath my 360 seat, my anchor, my fish grips, uh, a couple bottles of water. My net is stationed on this side. Here's a little trick that I did for my net that some people might like. So I don't have to worry about it getting lost. It attaches by a magnet right here, so it's quick release. All I have to do is pull it up, and it's good to go. I've got my net. I don't have to worry about it losing. Rods. Rod holder is staged, so as soon as I catch my fish, I take it off, put the rod in here, my hands are free, so I can take my camera and do my trophy shot. So this tournament's about ready to kick off. So I say let's load up, let's get ready, let's go catch some fish.